Hey guys, it's John P. with GeekBee TV. We're here at 2014 NAB Las Vegas and we are at Black Magic. We're going to get some cool new updates. Okay guys, I've actually got Dan here with me. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Uh, you guys are packed. Yeah, it's incredibly busy out front. We have 10 new announcements, 14 new products. The booth is packed. People are excited. It's great to be here. I have to say, I I'm going to give you huge props. I love what you guys have done. Out front, you've got a massive packed booth, but you've reserved some space back here so you can do these kind of interviews. That's brilliant. Yeah, the nice part is my voice is not so bad yeah. for being this far in, but uh, it's still a lot of talking, but we are having a great time. Yeah. Well, uh, we're going to make you talk a little bit more because you have two different products here that I'm really excited about. Very cool and I think kind of unexpected. I think that we've done a lot of work over the last few years. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great products. Uh, people have been following our camera releases over the past few years and they've seen us make these little kind of smaller size DSLR like production cameras. And what, what we saw were lots of guys were rigging those up with tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear. And that was great that we had created that building block. We realized we had a real great opportunity to create a full size production camera. And that's what we've got here with our Ursa. Uh, it is a full size super 35 millimeter size sensor for ultra HD recording. Um, the idea that this camera can be used by a single operator or that we can have multiple operators working around it, um, working in ultra HD or HD, recording to see fast cards or sending that off uh, via the SDI output and really just this fantastic design that we've made, um, being able to have the sensor and the lens mount removable so that we can do either uh, the EF or the PL based version of the camera or upgrade those later. We want to do a B4 version, uh, an HDMI version so I can hook up the SLRs and, and it's A, just a fantastic design um, to be able to be either tripoded or shoulder mounted. Uh, Let me tell you what, what instantly attracted me to this. This is ridiculous. Look at this gigantic screen. Yeah, we thought the idea of if I had a single guy that wanted to be able to work here and also have full touch screen control of the camera, but maybe I wanted to have a director standing here where I could have my focus puller or an audio person. So we needed to have a great big 10 inch full 1080 screen there. I love it. So it, it's a great image we're able to do there. With and the I personally, when I'm shooting, I hate to use a little viewfinder. So I'm always either staring at that little screen or having to strap on an X external monitor, exactly. which just uses more batteries, more power, more weight. Having that built in, just, I love that. We like we like the idea of a flexible camera that I can say, I want to use that, or do I want that? And there are guys that love the EVF, so we have the SDI out on the other side for the EVF, so yeah. a great, flexible, but again, full-size production camera. Really excited to have this showing at any Okay, so just a couple of, uh, cover a couple of these key points here. So it uses CFast, this is a new type of media. It's gonna give us more, uh, more more space and a smaller form factor, but it's a little expensive now, right? It is right? a little expensive. It's about $1,200 currently for a 128 gig card. Um, those are going to be 240 gig cards coming out soon. Those always drive those prices down, but they're very small form factor. We wanted to get the two slots. We could have one recording and when it fills up, it will start recording on the next. So Perfect. great for the form factor and the size of the cards. And we can shoot 4K on this, but what up to what speed, what the, frame rate? Yeah, the big thing here is we're able to go up to 60 frames per second, which we weren't, even though it's the same sensor as our current production 4K camera, we can deal with the heat better in this unit. It has a, how? How do you do that? It has a full liquid s cooling system inside here. So like on your... It has a what? A water cooling system like you'd have on the big computer systems. Do you have to like top it off periodically? No, it's all <laughs> fully enclosed in here. There's uh, steel plates behind there and there's just a silent fan that's moving. You can feel there's just a little bit of air that's moving out of there. Oh, yeah. And that's just moving. It's very cool. It's totally silent, doesn't that's vibrate. amazing. And just moves it out. So over here we've got SDI inputs, SDI outputs, time codes, all kinds of stuff. Basically everything everything you could need. Exactly. We want to make everything so we have the, the audio with the phantom power, the ability to do that EVF. Again, is one person standing over here and doing some controls? Are we, are we adding our metadata directly in as we're doing our recording? So you know again, a flexible, a flexible camera. The most impressive thing about this? Six thousand dollars. That yeah. is ridiculous. It's it's a great thing because everyone looks at this and say, "Man, that's that's a, such an aspirational camera to purchase." And at yeah. six thousand dollars, it's actually a very attainable camera. That to purchase. costs less than the one D, Canon one D. You know that people might buy to say, yeah. "Oh, I get some." No, this is a whole different. Now let's just switch gears a little bit because you've got another camera over here that freaks me out, yeah. and again, a very disruptive price point. 
This is a $2,000 studio camera. Exactly. We wanted, so, we wanted to create something that was a single purpose camera. So while all these other cameras are really about content creation and going out and doing you know, film production or independent film or documentary work, this is strictly live production. There's no recording media in here. It's a lens with a camera and a viewfinder. And SDI output. So we're doing SDI as well as fiber because there's a lot of guys that want to go ahead and do long, long runs. We have a fiber in here for in and out. Wow. So the nice part here is with that SDI, and the fiber we can go back and maybe I'm doing just something single camera for live streaming but perhaps I'm going back to something like my ATEM the television studio or production studio switchers I want to have multiple cameras tied up into a live production environment have that SDI or fiber there's talk back and tally built into the camera that's amazing so it's really about having this live production camera and again like you said two thousand dollars for our HD version which we have shipping now and we have a three thousand dollar ultra HD version that we'll have shipping in May so yeah, that's amazing it's a great price point Fantastic product, and like you said, a totally different design and very unique in this space. So we're really excited to have this camera at NAB. Well, I know that a lot of you guys are going to be excited wanting to get your hands on these things, and they are starting to ship, but we've obviously not shared all the details on it. So where do they need to go to get more? They can find out more about all of our products at www.blackmagicdesign.com. There you go, guys. All right, I'm John P. Blackmagic, go get you some. Thumbs up on YouTube. We're out of here.